Hey everyone, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing pretty well. What I'm going to do today is we're going to talk about chronic pain and we're going to talk about a feeling that just never lets go um, and that is guilt. All right. I know for a fact when, I'm going to talk a little bit before I do this page, um, I know when I went out of work, when I um, ended up losing my career, I was so guilty because my husband and I have always been partners in what we do. Actually, I will add some of this down while we're talking. If I can get the lid off my medium jar. Um, it was horrible. It, the feeling is there. It, it's never really going to go away, at least in my um my issue, you know, with my my feelings, I still feel guilty now and then. There's a lot of times that my husband will be outside doing yard work that I know previously, previously to the um, accident, that I would have been able to do with him. So, yeah, it's it's awful. And what do you feel guilty about? Well, one of the things I felt guilty about is my paycheck because um, we both had very well jobs, very nice jobs, and we got paid well. Well, when you get paid well and you have those types of jobs, you spend that kind of money, right? Well, when you all of a sudden lose one, it's like, oh my gosh. And I feel so guilty because now, and really it's not about things, it's not about materials, it's not about money, but this is, I'm just trying to explain what the guilt was at that point. I'm gonna worry about cutting that off later. Um, so, one was money, the loss of money. Was it hard? Absolutely. There goes another dog hair. Oh, sorry, guys. Um, one was about money. You know, it's not about money, but it's about the fact that I lost that income that, you know, we lived with. And, and I'm sure everybody that's dealing with any type of a chronic pain has certain financial issues. And if you don't, I'm really, really happy for you. Um, we feel like we're letting our partners down, don't we? Um, I know that when I, you know, like I said, um, lost my career, I felt like at that point that I was nothing. I, I wasn't worth hanging out for. Does, does that make sense to you? Um, you feel like your self-worth along with the guilt is just not there. And unfortunately, that takes a while to accept. What else are you guilty about? Um, totally guilty about not doing the things I used to be able to do. For example, um, I used to do all the grocery shop and that kind of stuff. I'll be honest with you now, because of the walking issue, my husband does a lot of it. Do I feel guilty about that? Yeah, I do. You know, he's got other things around the home that he needs to take care of and work with. He doesn't need to be worried about doing that. However, if we're gonna eat, he's gonna get the groceries, right? Um, I feel guilty about, you know, not being able to do a lot of the housework with them. Um, like I said, when, when we got married, our entire marriage, uh, not entirely, but you know what I mean, um, was about being a team, a couple. Um, we, we did everything, you know, equally. That's just the way that we are. And when that equality portion of it left for me, it was horrible. It was horrible. I feel so guilty to see him out there. You know, I, I want flowers in my garden. He's out there planting them. Um, you know, or I want something, you know, the lawn needs mowed. Well, normally, you know, I could get on the lawnmower and he would do the weed, you know, the weed eating. But again, that's not possible now. So that guilt is there. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I have a little thing over here. Um, <laughs> On that same line is um, what I was just talking about, is seeing your spouse actually change for you. So yes, he has changed. He's changed into a grocery shopper. He's changed into a um, laundry basket hauler. He's changed into, you know, doing the dishes. You know, yes, we did them as a team, but now it's like he does them 99.9% .9 of the time. And that really bothers me. That's part of that guilt. 
Uh, let's see, what else am I guilty about? Um, again, feeling unworthy. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Let me dry this up. Okay, so I got this pretty well dry. Um, so we're talking about not feeling worthy, right? Um, it's a very, very difficult transition to get through. To get past that feeling of unworthiness. Um, one of the best ways I can talk about getting anywhere near past there is by um, talking. Talking, 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 talking to your spouse, your significant other. Um, hopefully they will give you the support that you need. Um, if not, talk to someone else. Talk to a counselor or talk to a best friend or you know, whatever, whomever would be able to listen to you and, and actually just hear you. They don't have to fix the problem for you. Just just hear you and explain that, you know, this is how I'm feeling. You know, what, you know. Now, they don't even need to validate it. They can say, oh, yeah, that's right. No. Just let it out, I think, is part of the problem. And then working in your head to figure out, okay, well, I'm still breathing. So I'm kind of worth something. Apparently, you know, that part still works. What can I be that will make a worthy companion, um, a worthy person, a, a purpose in life, right? What can you do about that? And guys, I'm, I'm not even thinking. I'm just laying this stuff down. Just I'm just in the zone at this point. So, um, yeah, what, how can you find your self-worth again? <clears throat> first of all hopefully you still have parents if you don't you know your parents always loved you um, if you have children you're their mom you may be their dad I'm not sure who's watching um, if you you know uh, go to your church the people in your church they want to you know see you you're worthy for them a lot of the self-worthless thoughts, what I found out, were things that I was putting on myself. It wasn't things that other people were feeling. It wasn't the fact that my husband thought, oh, well, geez, she's worthless now. She can't mow the lawn. You know, that's not what it was. It was more about me feeling unworthy. And what I had to do is I had to find... I'll put it up there. Let's put it down here. Um, I had to find my way to find my worth as a person. Now, I've talked about this before in other videos, probably last year, but you know how um, you, you meet somebody for the first time and they say, what do you do? Okay, well, I'm a stay-at-home chronic pain disabled person. Is that what you want to say to them? No. Um, what what response would you normally give to them? You would normally give them your response of your job. This is what I do. I'm a blah, 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 right? Well, now you have to find what you feel you now are. I'm still a wife. I'm still a mother. I'm still a friend. I am still worthy. I'm worthy to breathe this oxygen because I still have a purpose in life. Do I know what it is? No. Maybe this right here is my purpose. What do you think? Do you think it is? Could be, right? Wow, I'm just going to town on paper on this. But that's okay, because we're going to write on some of it. So, yeah, you are still a worthy person. Just because you can't do what you used to be able to do, that doesn't mean that you're worthless. Not at all. Um, think about that for a second. I'm going to dry this up because I want to do some writing on here. So we'll be back. So we're talking about worthiness, right? We're talking about the guilt of feeling like we're worthless. Um, yeah, we're not going to worry about that because what we're going to do, I'm just feel like scribbling right now. Um, what we're going to do is we, we still are a person. We have to still find that purpose in life. You know, um, why do you feel you're worthless? Is it because you can no longer head the committee of a project you've been doing for 30 years? Is it because you can no longer every night put 
um, you know, a five-course meal, a dinner on the table. Why do you feel worthy, worthless? Why do you feel guilty? Um, your job, it's not your job, okay, to make everyone else happy. That's not what life is about, is it? At least it's not in my world. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, do you try to be nice to people and make them happy? Absolutely. Um, some people can take it, other people can't. So, you know, it's, it's, it's totally up to them. But, just because you can't do something does not mean that you're not worthy. So, what can't do, right? Alright, so I no longer do the housework like I used to. Um, so that includes vacuuming dishes, that kind of stuff. Um, I can no longer do the yard work. I can no longer make commitments. Right? Um, what else do I feel? This is my guilty stuff. Um, loss of income. What else? Um, playing with my grandbaby. I should say playing outside. With really. Okay. So now what do I do because of these things that I feel worthless about? What do I do? For the housework, I do what I can. Yes, I can't do dishes. Yes, I don't make dinner every night of the week. But when I can, I do. Um, you know, I can clean my shower while I'm in it. I can, um, you know, clean off the counters, pick up the living room, fold the blank, whatever. So yes, you still are worthy in that sense, right? So maybe you aren't doing it the way you used to do it. That's okay. Um, nobody in the world says we have to have a perfect house, a, a what I call a show home. I sure don't live in one. Um, so for me, the housework, you know, he does the vacuuming, he does the dishwashing. Um, you know, he'll pick up things. Like I said, he's a laundry carrier, that type of thing. Yard work. Okay, I can't get down on my, you know, knees or sit and bend over to plant flowers or to cut weeds or, um, you know, I can't sit on a tractor um, to mow the lawn, right? All right, so what can I do for yard work? Well, I can, if I happen to go out and go shopping, maybe I pick up a few bulbs and, you know, some potting soil or dirt or whatever. And I say to my husband, you know, is it possible we can plant these here? He does it. Am I giving him a big landscaping job? Absolutely not. But I'm still worthy because I still have those visions in my head. And as long as I have the help from my husband, you know, the yard work is going to be what it is. Um, I'm very fortunate. He really likes his yard to be neat and clean so that's really you know that's his forte he loves that commitments I can't make commitments um, it's hard it's very very hard to say oh yeah next Friday at three o'clock or seven o'clock I'll meet you for dinner down at Uncle Joe's and blah 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 well blah, whatever this is a non existence this goes day by day does this mean I'm worthless because, you know, or, um, you know, I that I should feel guilty because I can't make those commitments? I don't think so. Feeling guilty at first? Absolutely. I felt horrible. I'm like, but, you know, I used to do all this stuff with my friends. I used to do the shopping trips. I used to, you know, go here, go to the movies, go there, do all this other stuff. Well, with the chronic pain, you can no longer just go and do. All right? You have number one, one thing to think about, and that is you, right? You have to think about your body, your situation, your chronic pain, whether it be physical or mental. You have to do, this is it. This is the first person that you need to take care of. 
not your friends, not your housework, not your yard work. You need to start with you. <clears throat> Do you feel guilty about all of this stuff? Absolutely. I still feel bad, um, you know, when my friends will be like, oh, this is going on. Can you really, really go? Well, you know, I'm having a really bad day, so no, I can't. Is it guilt anymore? I think no. I've been in this almost nine years, and at this point, I think it is not really guilt, but disappointment. Disappointment to me, feeling that I'm disappointing my friends, right? So the guilt of all of these things, the loss of the money, the, you know, things that you used to do, the committees, or, you know, you loved planning birthday parties, whatever the case may be, um, the guilt of these is all surrounded by what you can't do. Am I right? What else are you guilty about? Let's talk about it. Um, the, the loss of money really bothered me. I had a career. I was there for 24 years. I was looking for six more and then retiring. I felt really guilty about that because at the time, um, you know, like I said, the money was good. So this really, it really threw me for a loop. But um, luckily we got it together and we figured that all out. And at this point we're doing really well. So what else do you feel guilty with? Um, not being able to find time to be just one-on-one -on -one with your spouse in the way maybe you used to. All right. So, for example, what my husband and I do now is, you know, we'll just hang out on the couch and we just watch a movie or we just sit and chat there's times the TV's off and we just sit and chat you know um, some remembrances do you remember what we did you know 30 years ago blah 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 that's what we do <clears throat> you need to find um, instead of looking at the guilt find a different way to get your spouse involved in how you are now okay um, you know maybe you you can go for a ride in the countryside. You know, let's go find this place and let's go to dinner. Why not? Why can't you do that? Um, well, now COVID, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in a normal world. This world is crazy. But there's other ways to feel worthy and to let go of that guilt. Um, is it easy? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. There's still days I'll be in here, um, you know, maybe playing around in my art room, and I see my husband outside trying to, or not trying to, doing all the house, you know, all the yard work, um, you know, cleaning up branches after a storm, all that kind of stuff. Normally, I would have been out there with him. That's just the way we were. But that has changed. So the first thing I have to think about now is me. My husband understands it, luckily. Um, he doesn't... He doesn't give me um, any issues about it because he's seen the pain. That's another thing that I feel in order to let go of some of your guilt and, you know, your spouse looking at you like, well, why aren't you doing that? You need to let him know the pain is there. You need to let him know. You need to let him or her. Um, you've got to let that pain show. You don't have to do it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, I hide a lot of pain, but when it's really bad and I know I can't do something, um, that pain shows. And there's really, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. So guilt is basically, you know, you're, you feel like you're letting people down. You feel like you're disappointing them. You feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you're not, you know, this is all my fault. Um, it's not okay this chose your body your body didn't you didn't choose this I did not choose to sit here in my art room and play all day honestly I would much rather be working doing my job that I absolutely loved and just living a normal life but I didn't choose this it happened now I have to deal with it and that's where I think a lot of my um, guilt per se comes from is, you know, I didn't choose this. It chose me. What a mess. Look at the mess I've made on this page. Um, so that's how I feel about guilt. Now what I'm going to do, um, we were, I wrote a lot of icky stuff here, which is fine, but 
a lot of this is going to get covered up because you know we don't want to stare at have this staring in our face at all the time um, if you're comfortable just leaving your your this is your feelings this is your um, inside your soul if you want to leave it like this go for it and you know the more I think about it the more I think I am but I found this picture it was on the beginning of a magazine Sasse S-A-S-E-E -E, January of this year um, says here the future is ours so be courageous and stay inspired for the first time in a long time the future is brighter and the author is she she s-h-e s-h-e I found this girl and to me her eyes says it all she feels really guilty she feels to me this is the emotion that I can put into this girl is look at her she's not happy it's like I can imagine pain in her eyes and I can imagine her just standing looking out the window while her significant her significant other I can't I cannot talk today sorry guys it's my fibro but while other people are living life right so I want to use this I honestly I really like this um, let me go ahead and get this cut out, figure out how I'm going to do it. I might incorporate her into this page, but there's things. I'm going to keep this here, the U. I may end up working her in here. We're going to work around with some little paint and you know, who knows, stencils, washi tape, ink, you never know. So right now, I am going to go ahead and put some music on. I'm going to fast forward through this process because I'm just going to play again. But I really hope you think about... Um, <clears throat> what guilt you're carrying and why you're carrying that guilt and is there something you can do to help relieve some of those guilty feelings that you have again I have found ways to undo this um, the best I can there's housework that I can do that I do there's you know we've talked about it there's things you can do it just you may do them a little different but it doesn't matter does it so think about it. See what, what you feel guilty about. Put it on your pages. It doesn't have to be pretty. Okay, this is about feelings. This is about journaling. This is about you, right? So think about it. I'm going to go ahead and get some paint on here. Just play around, and I'll chat with you guys at the end. I hope you enjoy.
guys um, I did a whole bunch of doodling and stuff on that page and I'm gonna bring it back in in a minute um, before we do though I just want to wrap up um, with guilt the first thing um, that I can say to you is you're gonna allow yourself to grieve you have to grieve the fact that you are not any you are not capable anymore of doing what you used to do we lose something right we lose part of ourselves so what do you do when you lose something is you grieve right so you need to allow yourself to to grieve this is probably not going to show up very well but it is written on your um, so you're going to allow yourself to grieve and what else are you going to do um, in this process I don't like this pen I wish I had a darker one let me look let's see if my pilot's any better yeah that is I'm not worried about the writing so okay so you're gonna learn allow yourself to grieve not much better but a little bit um, another understanding you need to know is it's a long process okay um, it doesn't happen overnight it takes years um, it's a it's an ever ever turning um, how do I say it it's it's it it comes and it goes uh, it's really strong in the beginning and you just you don't know what to do um, but like I said let yourself grieve it is a long process it can be reoccurring that's the word Um, it can be reoccurring. Um, the the only thing I can the advice I can give for you is to I actually like that one better is to find your own path. Uh, find out what works for you. There's things that I do that may not work at all for you. There's things that you do that may not work at all for me or for other people or for anybody else. But just make sure that you find your own path on how to do the things that you want to do. Um, the other thing is also acceptance. Okay. And in order to accept where you are and to... Um, understand okay this is my new me you've got to grieve the loss of the old you that's just that's part of it um, and while you're doing this grieving you're gonna feel guilty you're gonna feel guilty for feeling like oh you know man what about me I'm gonna put guilty up here um, so you're gonna feel guilty you're gonna have to go through this process it's all going to be interchanging. None of these topics are just one solid thing. Um, all right, so you've got to accept. Now, the easiest way that I found to accept is to focus on the little steps. I'm not going to say steps, little things. Okay, let's focus on the little things. So let's say, you know, all right, I'm just going to get throw out an example. Um, Maybe you really liked mashed potatoes when you made dinner at night, and you couldn't at this point, um, whether it's your hands, or you just you can't make those mashed potatoes, right? Well, they have some in the grocery store already made called Bob Evans, I think it is. Um, you know, that's a little step. It's, it's a little thing that you can do to still have what you're looking for, but to be able to... Um, not feel so bad that you you can't make them right so focus on the little things that was a crazy example but that's what I am right now um, and also you know communicate communicate that's huge huge you know another thing you can do is give back to others You know, um, there's many, many different examples of the ways that you can get back, whether it's through your church, whether it's through your, you know, daughter watching your grandson for an hour, whatever. Think of ways, just because you are broken, 
I don't want to say broken. You're bent. Okay, not broken, but you are bent and you still want to have a purpose in life and you still want to feel good about yourself and you want to take that guilt and just throw it in a closet. Do your best to give back. Maybe if it's even if it's just sitting down and writing a little letter, telling somebody, hey, you know, thank you. I appreciate you being there. Little things. Okay, so focus on the little things. Make sure you communicate, give back to others and the only thing I'm going to say um, last is you need to find your new normal, right? So those are the things that I focus on. Um, it has worked for me over the last nine years. Do I still have issues with it time and time again? Yeah. Um, guilt doesn't, doesn't just go away. It, it, it sticks. And sometimes it gets worse than others. I'm not going to put anything crazy on this. I just brought this out. Where is my scissors? Scissors. Um, but guilt is something that you're definitely going to deal with. It's something you can't ignore. Um, it's something that's always going to be there. Yes, will it get easier? Absolutely. It will get easier. Um, is it going to take time? Yes. You know that already, right? So I hope this helps in part of the process. Let's bring this back in. Um, this is what I've done to my girl here. Um, I put that in big magic marker because I didn't. it didn't look right not being there. So here we go. We're going to put this right here. I'm going to throw some glue on this. Well, that's, where's my tacky glue? Actually, I'm going to tacky the whole thing down. Some old, ugly yellow tags. So take that process and try to work with it and try to see how you know you can handle um, the process that you need to go through to help you um, not be so guilty and maybe to help you understand how to get out of that guilt and just take your time. Again, I'm a huge um, pusher of journaling. Journaling to me is a lifesaver. Um, there's a lot of stuff you can put down on paper that nobody needs to know or hear besides you. And it's worth it. It's really worth it. I'm going to put this up here. And I'm just sticking these down with some tacky glue. I'll throw something heavy on it and make it stick. Alright, so I hope that helps you guys. Um, again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to you know share them in the comments. If you want to reach me personally, I'm on Messenger. Um, just give me a shout and I'll be glad to help you. So again, just my final saying, I am not licensed. I am not a therapist. I am talking from my own experience. This is my journey that I've been on and I didn't have help when I started on my journey. So my, my whole goal is to give back and give back to you some tips and tricks that I've learned through my art journey of chronic pain. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy. I will see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.